You ought to get up in the morning and say, God, I want to know you and love you more. I have done this every single morning of my life for decades. I don't get out of bed in the morning before I do this. I sit on the edge of my bed before my feet touch the ground and I, I, I just say this, dear God, it's another day. And if I don't get anything else done today, I want to know you a little bit better and I want to love you a little bit more. And if at the end of the day that life sucked, that day sucked, everything went wrong, it was terrible. I sinned, there were mistakes, there were all kinds of grief and problems and difficulties. If at the end of the day, I know God a little bit better and love him a little bit more, I didn't waste that day. On the other hand, doesn't matter how many things you accomplish, how many things you achieve, how famous you become, how much money you make, if at the end of each day, you don't know God a little bit better and love him a little bit more, you just wasted that day. Because God did not create you and put you on earth just to mark things off your to-do list. Before my feet even hit the floor, you know, before I actually physically get out of bed, I just take that moment to remember, and one of my favorite verses for the morning is Psalm 143, verse 8. And it says, let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I've placed my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I entrust my life. And then I simply say, good morning, Lord. I don't know where you're going, but wherever you're going, I'm coming with you. And the reason I love that, it says, let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, not mine, because I will fail. That's part of being human. And, and show me the way I should go, for to you I entrust my life. It's just a way of acknowledging, Lord, my steps are ordered by you. So today I want to gladly walk close to you in the steps that you have ordered. Every morning I pray that God will put somebody in front of me that I can help, somebody that I can be a blessing to. And I'm not talking about on TV or in the pulpit. I'm talking about me personally as I'm out and about in my world. Who can I help and who can I bless? Let your light shine before men. That they might see your good works and what glorify your Father who is in heaven. Every day of my life I pray that God will use me to make somebody else's life better. This is a time for us to begin to use our talents. Because every one of you, every single one of you has something to contribute in society. Every one of you has a ministry. Every one of you has an anointing from God. I just love to think about what could happen if every believer really understood who they are in Christ and what they have to contribute and we would stop shrinking back in fear and we would just get out in the midst of our world, your neighborhood, where you go to the marketplace, where you shop, where you go to school, where you go to church and we would simply do what the Bible says, let your light shine. Whatever, stop worrying about what you can't do and start using what you can do. Every day you should declare, I have the favor of God. Favor is on my family. Favor is on my health. Favor is on my business. Favor is on my finances. This needs to be a way of life where every day, whether it's sunny or rainy, whether you're on the mountaintop or in the valley, you get up in the morning and say, I have the favor of God. That's not just to remind yourself, not just to show God that you're trusting him, but you're showing the enemy who you belong to. And the scripture says, if you will acknowledge God in all your ways, he will crown your efforts with success. One way to acknowledge God is all through the day, under your breath, declare his favor. You may not see how you can accomplish a dream, how you'll get well, doesn't look like it's ever going to change. People don't have the final say. People don't control your destiny. People can't see the favor on your life. They don't know what God is about to do. Don't let them talk you out of your dreams. Don't let people convince you that you can't get well. That you'll never afford a nice house. You'll never break the addiction. They're looking at the natural. We serve a supernatural God. One touch of his favor will catapult you ahead. They may be negative, discouraging, condescending. Let it go in one ear and out the other. None of that can stop your purpose. 
The favor on your life will defy the odds. Favor will take you where you don't have the qualifications. On paper, it may not make sense. Don't worry, God knows what he's doing. Whenever you start your day, you need to start it with God. And you need to do some things on purpose. You need to make a decision. This is the day the Lord has made. I will enjoy this day. Make an announcement to the devil who is the joy thief. I will enjoy this day. I'm putting on my righteousness. I know who I am in Christ. I'm putting on my peace. Jesus gave me peace. I'm not going to get upset today if I don't get my way about everything. If getting things right with God, first thing when you get up, whenever your morning is, if it wasn't important, then it wouldn't say it all over the Bible. Get up early in the morning and take care of the hard tasks. Get them out of the way first. Don't let some job you have to do threaten you all day and make you dread the day. David got up early the day he killed Goliath.